Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Deck to Anything by Sands Minds. So before we do the review, please uh, like and subscribe. As usual, when you subscribe, do click the bell button so you get notifications of when I go live because I am doing more live uh, videos now. Uh, and go and check out cardmagiccourse.com, my complete and ever-growing uh, online card course. Over 200 videos now, all of me teaching in-depth moves and tricks. And the latest trick we've just put up is the Royal Acrobats by Roberto Jobby, so thanks for permission for that. Uh, but let's get on with the review. Okay, so Sans Mines. Now, they are churning stuff out. I get a list from Murphy's of what I want to get, and Sans Mines are just... I think most things seem to be from Sans Mind. So sometimes that, that can turn me off a little bit. And I, I went into this with a bit of a sort of uh, negative expectation, really. I don't know why. I think the, the Unicorns thing that I reviewed, uh, I wasn't. I thought they were quite nice, but I was a bit like, mm, are they one of these companies that just churns out stuff and kind of is a bit like that? And and actually, surprisingly, no. I, there, there's When I first got this, I was like, no, nah, this really isn't for me. And then I kind of started enjoying myself a little bit. Uh, so the basic premise is deck to anything. It's a deck to anything, all right? Well, it isn't a deck to anything. It's a deck to things you can fit in a deck. I'm not going to show you this. It's a normal pack of cards. But the basic way of doing this is you get someone to choose a card. They have a look at the card. Um, you can do what you want with the card. But then you don't put it in the pack. You show the pack has some cards in it. And it looks just like that. And then you close the pack again. Do whatever. Open it again, and it's full of sweets. <gasps> As in the ad, or I'm sure you could think of lots of different things to put in there. Uh, so it's a, it's a re the thing that got me at the beginning was, well, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Sort of, the cars turn into sweets, so what? And then I kind of think, oh, you could, you could actually, there's quite a lot of things you can, talk to about uh, talk about with sweets so at the moment I've given up sugar I'm the sugar for six weeks so I was going to talk about that and say every, everywhere I look I just think of sweets and and they appear and then of course I realized that the power of it is that it doesn't make any sense that's why it's good people laugh and they go they, they freak out because they're not expecting it so actually by not doing any of that stuff and just turning cards into sweets uh, worked out really, really well. And I'm, I'm in a really good mood. I'm always in such a good mood when, when I try these new tricks out on people because I always get quite nervous because it's the first time I've ever done them. And then when they go really well, I'm, I'm in a good mood. And the reaction was brilliant. And of course I realized why the reaction was so good because it was completely unexpected. So here's the pros and cons. The, the good stuff is that it's, it's a really strong effect. I've just seen it. I've just seen it to a person that isn't in a sort of, a sort of mood to be performed to. Being sans minds is a little bit of art, arts and crafts, but um, this was, I really enjoyed it because it was all, it kind of came in a, all ready to go. You didn't really need to, it was all like double-sided tape was already there and you could, so they just talk you through it. It's very basic to put together, very easy and you can do it and easy to put together and easy to perform. You can, well, I get, and I'm not that good at this. I usually take a bit of practice, even with easy self-working stuff. I feel like I need to practice it, but I literally bang this together and went and, you know, you can, there's nothing that difficult. Yes, of course, you're gonna have to run through it and get the, make sure you know what you're doing. Um, and with that, like, I'm glad I did sort of run, like I, a couple of times I just, before I went out there, I just did it and realized that there's a little bit of hang up on the cards. There's kind of, um, I can't describe it, but when you show all the cards there and put them back in, there was a little bit of hang up, and it and it took a little bit of to get it to get it all back looking normal. I, that doesn't make any sense. But just watch the bit where they show the cards and they do that, and then they put them back. And when I went to put them back, it kind of had to do that. Now, all the things I was worried about, flaws-wise, was was totally fine because of the unexpected nature of it because of when it happens it's kind of like the omni deck and things like that the trick's kind of over and you're you're doing what you have to do there's they're a bit noisy so i've got sweets in the thing i don't know i'm giving anything away and and then i'm thinking god that sounds a bit rattly in there so i was a bit worried about that and i shouldn't have been honestly there could have been a really big stuff banging about in there and they're just not focused on the thing there's no heat at all on this pack so that makes it all the better for when you actually do the trick. It, it makes it, so whatever problems I had with the noise, I sort of lifted the cover and I could hear them rattling. I was a bit worried. Totally and utterly fine. All those things that you might be worried about when you do it are going to be fine. Uh, the other thing 
that I noticed is the back design isn't the same as that back design. So I was thinking, oh, I'm kind of doing something here. They're going to see that, then they might see another one. Again, why would they be looking? Nobody's taking any notice of the thing. They're not expecting anything to come out of the pack, so why are they looking at it? So again, it's all so easy, and it's a really nice trick to do. Um, so there is a angle, not an angle issue. You, if you do an Omni deck, something like that, you, you've got the same angle problem, but again, with no heat. There is a little bit of a cheeky edit on the on the ad. I noticed that it showed them someone taking a card, then putting the cards back into the pack like this, and then it cuts, and then they do the sweet bit. Now, it's not quite as clean as that, um, but I kind of get it. That, that's what the spectators are going to see, and that's that's how it's going to feel and look to them. Uh, and, and it helps to have a jacket. You can do it without a jacket. There is The instructions are great. Um, there is a way of doing it that he shows without a jacket, but I just I want to have a jacket. I think it just it just makes me feel better for for what you have to do, and that's deck to anything. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. Again, all the the part putting it together, everything I was going, oh, this is not me. And now I think it's one of those things that I think it, I'll get out every now and then and have a nice time with. And and it, and I think you know, the kids are going to love it, aren't they? You know, decks to switch, brilliant. You know, if you're doing if you're doing a trick to to an adult and the kids are getting bored, say, no, watch this, you're going to like this in a minute. And then it turns into sweets, and then the parents get really upset because you're giving the kids sweets, but whatever. And it's made me want to sort of look more into the Sans Mind stuff, which is good because I've got about 20 tricks over there that I've got to review by Sans Mind. So <laughs> we'll have a nice time with the glue and all that. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please share it if, if you want to, if you like my reviews or let people know about it. If you want to give it a mention anywhere, that would be absolutely lovely. Uh, shameless, I know, but it really, really helps me out. And check out cardmagiccourse.com because I'm incredibly proud of it. Have a brilliant one. Any questions, comments, please put them below and take care. Bye-bye.